Hello and welcome back to Ida's Corner. In today's video, I will discuss February's 2023 Visa Bulletin for family-based categories and the Dabosti Visa Lottery. So stay with me for more details. If this is your first time on this channel, please consider and hit the subscribe button be part of this amazing channel and make sure that you hit the notification bell so you never miss another video from me we are finally on the way to 6k to my new and returning subscribers thank you as always before we look at february's 2023 visa bulletin for family-based categories let's go ahead and recap january's 2023 Visitor Bulletin Filing Dates for Family-Based Categories Looking at February's 2023 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories Filing Dates, we can see compared to January's Visa Bulletin, there were absolutely no changes across the board. In the F1 Visa category, for all chargeability areas, China and India, they are on priority date August 8, 2016, they are on priority date December 1, 2002, and the Philippines, April 22, 2015. In the F2A visa category, this visa category is always current. A visa is always available to these applicants. In the F2B visa category, we can see that for all chargeability areas, China, and India, they are on priority date January 1st, 2017. Mexico, they are on priority date January 1st, 2002. And the Philippines, October 1st, 2013. In the F3 visa category, for all chargeability areas, including China and India, they are on priority date November 8th, 2009. Mexico, June 15, 2001, and the Philippines, November 8, 2003. And lastly, in the F4 visa category, for all chargeability areas and China, they are on priority date December 15, 2007. India, they are on priority date February 22, 2006. Mexico, April 1, 2001, and the Philippines, April 22, 2004. So my friends, February's Visa Bulletin was a disappointment again. There were absolutely no changes across the board. And the reason why it is like that is because they are trying to cut down the backlog created by the COVID pandemic and past travel bans. Currently at the National Visa Center, we have approximately over 300,000 documented qualified applicants still pending an interview. And so they're unable to give out more visas to other applicants until they cut down this backlog. Please note that a visa is always available for US citizen spouses and their children under 21 years of age. So once the I-130 is uh, approved and sent to the National Visa Center, they are able to go ahead and process their immigrant visa applications. However, for all other categories, you have to wait until a visa is available to you before proceeding. Now, do not be discouraged. 
In the meantime, while you wait for your priority date to become current, you can start looking at what documents are needed to process your immigrant visa application because you always want to be prepared. You do not want the time to come and you're unprepared. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take a look back at January's 2023 diversity visa lottery and compare those numbers to February's 2023 diversity visa lottery. Comparing January's 2023 Diversity Visa Lottery Bulletin to February's, we can see that for Africa, they are on applicant number 35,000, except Algeria, they are on applicant number 18,425, Egypt, 16,150 Morocco 31,725 Asia they are on applicant number 15,500 except Iran 5,500 and Nepal 7,000 Europe they are on applicant number 15,000 except Russia, 12,000, and Uzbekistan, 8,500. For North America, including the Bahamas, they are still stuck at applicant number 5, Oceania, 1,100, and lastly, for South America and the Caribbean, they are on applicant number 2,100. Now, the National Visa Center will not tell you that your applicant number is current so you must be checking the website that i listed down below to see if your case is current and it is time to process your immigrant visa okay guys so this is it for now if you have any questions or you do not know what to do please reach out to me as soon as possible or schedule a consultation with me. I'll be very happy to help you. Before I go, ensure that you subscribe, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Ida's Corner, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.